Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Small Engines Questions and Answers for Friday, March 4th, 2011. Well, we don't have much winter left here. It's March now, so pretty well the snow starts melting in March here in Ontario. So hopefully spring's going to be around the corner soon. I thank all my new subscribers and all those who regularly comment and those who watch my videos regularly as well. I appreciate the support. A question I've been getting a lot is people have been asking me if these new Chinese motors on snowblowers are any good. Well, I don't have anything bad to say about them because I've never had one in to repair. I've had the lawnmowers with the Chinese motors to repair, but not a snowblower yet, and they've been out there for about 2-3 years here in Canada. I mostly find the Chinese motors on MTD snowblowers, and on some Craftsman snowblowers too, I've seen them. You're going to notice that the Chinese snowblower motors are much quieter than these older Tecumseh flatheads. The only thing though that I've heard is that it's hard to get single parts for your motor. Like to give you an example, if you go to get a carburetor part, apparently they will only sell you a whole carburetor. So that can kind of be an issue. And you can only get these parts sometimes from the manufacturer of your snowblower. So if you bought an MTD snowblower, and you need a part for the motor, you have to go to MTD. Whereas with Tecumseh motors on MTD snowblowers, you can get your Tecumseh parts from anywhere. But I don't have anything bad to say about them. They seem to be good. They seem robust. They seem to be well built for the winter because they have a carburetor cover that covers the carburetor well. And I believe we're going to start seeing more and more of Chinese built motors on equipment. But on some snowblowers, they come with a four year warranty. So that's pretty good actually. In four years, you're going to know if something's going to break or not. And you're going to see some other branded power mower, especially on MTD machines, you'll see that. And some are branded something else, but it's pretty well all the same engine. To make your engine last longer, just keep it well maintained, change the oil often, and empty out the carburetor of fuel in the spring, or put some gas stabilizer in it and run it through just to keep it in good running order for the next season. Now my next question a YouTuber is asking me if you need to sit your chainsaw for a couple months with the mixed gas in the fuel tank, can you use fuel stabilizer in the gas? He's probably wondering this because it's mixed gas and he's not sure if he can use the stabilizer in mixed gas. Well, the answer to that is yes, you can use fuel stabilizer even if it's mixed gas. So this is what I use, stable fuel stabilizer, follow the instructions and you should have no problems. If you dropped in a few extra drops, don't worry about it. Now in the fuel stabilizer bottle, it says that it will keep fuel fresh up to 12 months. That's if you put the stabilizer when you first buy your fuel. I actually do not keep my fuel for one year in my equipment, even if I have fuel stabilizer in it. Now the YouTuber is also wondering how long should you keep the fuel in this chainsaw if it doesn't have fuel stabilizer? Well, I would only keep it up to 60 days. You can dump out the gas, send it to your recycler, or dump it into your snowblower if you're going to use it that same day and you know that it doesn't have water or it's really, really bad. If it's totally bad, throw it out. Sometimes it is good though, even after 60 days. But just to be sure, recycle all your fuel like that, then it's going to keep your equipment trouble free. To give you an example, I keep cans of gas here for my generator. I keep the cans for 60 days, sometimes 90 days but what I do when I recycle the gas if I haven't used a generator is I dump it into my car the gas gets used up pretty good in the car then I refill my fuel tanks and I'm ready to go for another two three months but I've been doing this with my generator for five six years like I mentioned keep it for 60 days maybe a bit more dump it in the car refill the cans and I've never had a problem now the last topic today youtuber is asking me how much do these starters cost for your Tecumseh snowblower motor now we're talking about the Tecumseh motor that looks like this. It's flathead, not overhead valve. And it's the starter that mounts underneath the fuel tank on these engines. Well, the price for these here in Canada is $189 plus tax. 13% tax on top of the $189. So you're looking at just over $200. Now the YouTuber is wondering if you can buy one of these starters from an aftermarket source. I believe there is. A YouTuber emailed me a link one time, but I lost it. So if anybody's watching the video and you know where you can get an aftermarket starter for your Tecumseh snowblower motor, please post the information underneath this video. Now I don't know what the price for an aftermarket starter would be, but it's well worth looking into. It's pretty expensive for a starter, so if you can get one cheaper that's just as good, you might as well do it. I've never used the aftermarket starter for the Tecumseh motor, 
but if you have and you have experience as to the quality of that starter, please post the information underneath this video. Please post the link as well to where people can go and buy the aftermarket starter. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching and have yourselves a great weekend. See you next Friday.